Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the racing line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week one of season two, 2022 in the new D-Class Fix GT4 Challenge with me driving the brand new Aston Martin Vantage GT4. This week's circuit is the Red Bull Ring, the Grand Prix layout and the date and time is set to the 19th of March 2022 at 12.25 in the afternoon to match the season two PDF. Temperatures range from 31 degrees to 37 degrees Celsius. Uh, the same format as before, breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an off-board lap and as usual this is filmed before the week has begun so it's difficult to compare lap times but let's see if we can help you guys find some time around this quite fast and fun circuit with plenty of racing to do of course we're using the sprint setup as is as it is a fixed series but here we go down the main straight we want to be on the left hand side ready for the fast right hander of turn one we're going to just extend the track a little bit by coming right over to the curve and we're going to break at the 100 meter board keeping two wheels on the track at all times hold on the brakes from fifth down to third and then just coast into the apex and then get back on that power as soon as you can you can cross the yellow curve a little bit as long as you keep your two right wheels on the red and white stuff you won't get a 1x so it's all good it's now flat out all the way up here and you can follow the flow of the circuit you can see we drifted to the right now we're drifting to the left as we climb up the hill towards the tight hairpin uh just up ahead the braking zone again is the 100 meter board again we're using some of the curb to really open up this corner it's going to be hard on the brakes a prolonged period of braking here now it's nice and straight down to second gear from fifth uh and then you get there's a little bump mid corner there where the throttle will get a little bit unstable so you want to ease the throttle on in second gear uh and then obviously once you hit that rev limiter up into third and up through the gears as you go back down the hill now towards this next corner now a downhill braking zone so a tricky one it's not the 100 meter board it's around 125 between the 150 and the 100 hard on the brakes again from fifth down to third you want to start turning in nice and early coasting into this apex and then start and accelerating straight away you can use all of the exit curb there to carry as much speed as you can through the exit hold it tight to the right now you don't want to cross this curb too much as it's quite easy to get a 1x here in between the 100 and the 50 meter board so the 75 meter mark from fifth down to fourth trail breaking in here scrubbing off as much speed until you know you can hold it tight to that curb and then you can get back on the power in fourth gear keep two wheels on the red and white curb on the left our next braking zone is at the curb ends where the green stuff turns into tarmac I dab the brakes keeping it in fourth gear again trail braking in so that you know you can hold it tight to that apex curb as soon as you know that you're going to get it stuck there get back on that power you can use all the track on the exit as long as you keep two wheels on the red and white curbs at all times up through the gears up into fifth now another downhill braking zone between the 100 and the 50 so the 75 meter mark we're going to dab the brakes from fifth down into fourth gear we'll do this in slow motion you can see quite hard on the brakes get it down into fourth don't cut the curve on the inside too much and get back on that power full speed now this is the trick you can keep your two right wheels on the white stuff here that you don't get a 1x but the braking zone is about halfway down that little straight keeping it in fourth get it turned in to mount the curve on the inside and again keeping your two right wheels on that red and white stuff and you won't get a 1x it's really easy to carry the speed through there the braking zone is a little bit tricky for that final corner but it's about the halfway point of that little bit of straight that you can see on the track map let's go full speed uninterrupted now so we're looking for the 100 meter board hard on the brakes really opening up turn one down to third gear get it turned in and then straight back on that power once you hit the apex you can really carry the speed through there nicely uh, you can probably gain actually a tenth or two on what I did here through that corner it's flat out and nice and easy up here slipstream hill we'll call this plenty of overtaking opportunities into this next hairpin 100 meter board again use the curve on the left to open up the corner hard on the brakes down to second get it turned in trail breaking in then smoothly applying the power on the exit of this corner because there's a bump mid corner there that will unsettle the car up through the gears now as we go undulating through this next straight we're going to come over the brow of this hill into a downhill uh, right hander so downhill on the brakes in between the 150 and the 100 hard on the brakes down to third start turning in trail breaking in and start accelerating just before the apex because you can use all of this exit curb to extend the track and get that power on a little bit earlier than you expect now between the 100 and the 50 75 meters down to fourth trail breaking in start accelerating smoothly on the fourth fourth gear so that you can get that power down use all the track on the exit green stuff ends dab the brakes again keeping it in fourth and then once you know you can stick to that left hand side curve back on the power full speed keep your two left wheels on the red and white stuff you can cut that a little bit uh, and now it's flat out obviously up over this brow of this hill downhill again 75 meter mark again hard on the brakes down to fourth turning coasting in until you know you can get it stuck Hard on the throttle, halfway down this hill, dab the brakes again, get it turned in, and just before the apex point, start accelerating to carry that speed. And then up into fifth and across the line for a 137.1 around the Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. As usual, that is pretty much it from me, so I'm going to leave you with this off-board lap. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're going to be following uh, the GT4 season this season, um, driving the Aston Martin all the way through, so you can join us every Monday around the same time 
for each week's track guide. And as usual, if I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace.